crush them all quickly, shall we? voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back alleys are just too dangerous for me. Good to see you back. I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood, or sport as she called it. Captain said Denrim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. Do what you will, and good luck. Shift's nearly over. Trusting. Success. What are you looking at? We're the Crimson Oars. We are veterans of many battles. What are you to us? I, um, we, well, we were just leaving. Yes, Oars, we go to the docks. Busy day today. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. Mind you, she's disappointed there was no fighting. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal.
You're here about your order? I am very, very pleased to say it's done. And it's garbage. I wouldn't let a festering swine wear it. Wade, it's amazing. I don't see anything wrong with it. Are you blind as well as stupid? The leg guards are too tight. It'll chafe. The guy isn't even prettier. I see a splotch. It's garbage, I say. <laughs> it's fine. Truly. It's a work of art. Here, wear it well. Now kindly leave. Did you bring more skin? Wade, please leave the customer alone. Will you stop eating? It is some kind of trap. It is 
some kind of trap. I've told you what I know. If you'll excuse me, I've had quite enough stress over this. Oh, uh, certainly. King Loghain will not... Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign Dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the king's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Endrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden! You... you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden, though I don't know what help you will find. A trust follower. Imagine if we arrived to the Man. Now that's a thing of beauty, Doctor. which has a great deal in common with my former master. The swamp? It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. 
Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You not speak that way about the man who should be king! <laughs> <laughs> Vieta, surfacer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Harrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. I want to go to the Circle to study. I assure you that desire will depart the moment you arrive. I don't want to do magic. No dwarf can cast spells, but I don't see why I shouldn't study it. It would be a valuable exchange. Orzammar would learn of one of the great natural forces of the surface. And the Circle gains direct access to our knowledge of Lyrium smithing. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? She's so enthusiastic and adorable. I'm glad we're helping her. <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Ferender, second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harrowmont cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. 
Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously, and unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. It would certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Harrowmont would have no fear of meeting with you then. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Harrowmont's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Baisel. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. They put all the rock. I understand the swamp witch is out to slay its own mother. Entirely in self defense. So plain. Highlight of underground existence, I take it. Look, I already told the Proving Master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? Nor I you, but it's pretty obvious who you're working for. I am. So if you're not here to... How do you know who I am? Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. She's married to a prominent Desher's heir. We should have stopped a long time ago, but... I love her. Do you know what that's like? Now Balin found out, and I can't even help my cousin for fear he'll tell her husband. There's no way to guarantee that. I appreciate the thought, but they really have me over a shaft here. N no One of his fighters, a woman named Miyaja, she's the one who threatened to expose me. 
They have letters. Love letters Revelka wrote me. If they were made public, she'd be disgraced. Her husband would cast her aside, and I would be lucky to be allowed to die in a duel. You'd do that? I don't know how to thank you. I, I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. If you can make sure that evidence doesn't get out, I'd be happy to fight in the proving. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. You new in the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. It's a pleasure. Sorry it can't be longer. Name's Guidon, and I just tendered my resignation. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. I bet he did. That man thinks nothing is beneath him. Well, you could just tell him I had my reasons. It's not so much what happened, as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harriman's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. Oh? And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the Assembly? I, uh... I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Maybe I will at that. The proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. Where did you get those? No, 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 no. I, I don't want to know. Just... thank you. I can't say what it means to know my Revelka is safe. I will be glad to fight for Harrimont in the Provings. Thank you again, friend. The Proving will begin shortly. I'm sure you can find a place in the stands. Or were you here to take part in the fight? Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? We'll just call you Grey Warden, seeing as those human names are a real burr to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? That's what I like to hear. I will warn you, though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. 
All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start, or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwan of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwan made history as a lad of 12 by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him in Lord Haramont's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Aituk and our future King Balin. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! More foes approach! The winner is the Grey Warden! That was an exciting start, Warden. Sawern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior cast twin terrors now fighting for Prince Balin, Biaja, and Luke John. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! You will need to fight shortly. Ah! The winner is the Grey Warden! Well, that was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Aramont's champion cleared the stone, but can she hold out against the Paragon's own favorites, the Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proved her worth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! We will need to fight shortly. The winner is the Grey Warden! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat. 
Just as Kiatshet fought as King Bloodlick II, defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Bojack Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Bojack Ivo and Valan. Your trust humbles me. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! You will need to fight shortly! <laughs> The Grey Warden! Wojak Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Paramount picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain, fighting for his royal cousin Balin. The Oten Iduken has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Harriman, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Enemy ahead. Watch out. <laughs> once called the Horns of my army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Eremont. The ancestors speak through you. Congratulations, Warden. You showed him. The ancestors are smiling on Lord Harriman today. The life you once had, Shell. These centuries of memories you have lost. Does it miss being within its mother's womb? Do I... That puddle of...
I won't trust you. Afternoon, stranger. You're looking for a stool to share a brew? I recommend the Lycan Ale. They brew it downstairs. Name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? Figured as much. Good folks, Wardens. I was in the Deep Roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Dunka... Uh, something like that. I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the Deep Roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigs. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Lord Harrowmont's got his own men there, all looking for signs of Bronca. Guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. Everyone wants someone to put in charge. Balin ordered us in at first bell, looking for signs of Bronca, I get. Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her whole house into the deep roads more than two years ago. No chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are gonna die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. In Dwarven Barbara, Avargapel Nothai, and Dindarizasa. They're everywhere! I can't take it! Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Beisel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Harrowmont will see you now. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. I appreciate what you have done, Warden, and I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyrell Harrowmont, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. You may not know the story, but Balin is actually the youngest of three. Endrin's eldest, Trian, was murdered in the Deep Roads not a year ago. His middle son was found standing over the body and was exiled. But I've always found it suspicious that Balin knew just where to look. Endrin loved his sons too much to voice such suspicions. But he knew Balin's only interest in ruling was to further his own power. Balin resents me because I did not believe his setup. I wanted a full investigation, a trial, not this knee-jerk reaction. It speaks poorly of Balin that Endrin himself was the first to think that he should not be trusted. I have never sought the throne. My role was to serve Endrin first as his advisor, then as an elected Desher in the Assembly. A Harrowmont has never been king, 
and I always assumed Trian would rule after his father. But both Endrin and my colleagues have asked me to step up, and I will not back down when Orzammar needs me. The Assembly represents the voices of the wisest, most noble families. While we need a single king to preside over important functions and lead us in battle, the Assembly better represents all in Orzammar. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace, so a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? I'm glad you're so eager. If you help me shut her down, we can show the Assembly I am the right king to defend Orzammar. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town, the raw edges of the city where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Jarvia in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. Uh, I don't know that word. This is a section of stone kept bare to receive our prayers. The stone gave rise to our people, and it is where their spirits return in death. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rock. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return, or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. The deep roads are where Darkspawn come from. They descend for miles into the earth, and we must patrol them constantly or be overrun. I lost my husband to them. If I lost my son the same way... How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Only Wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The Ancestors finally heed my prayers. Please, find me as soon as you return. Enemy 
Saruman has suckered the warden. Balin will not allow it. Why do the poor not rise up against their betters? Enemies ahead! We'll get plenty for their kids once we cut them out. You. you don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Oh, you looking? Could be I have that opportunity, especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world, like about who gets to buy and sell lyrium. The sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, name's Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And, uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. I don't think so. Boys! Ah, another battle approaches. As you say, it will be done. Yes, as you say, of course. Look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. What are you looking for? Know her. I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. They do, but it's not easy to find. Jarvia's got real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these fingerbone tokens. 
She scratches some mark into them, so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Can't help you there, Salraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. Now, how about that coin you promised? I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. H have you a coin to spare, milady? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to... But no! I can't bear to even think of it! I wish there were. My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining caste family. We weren't wealthy, but... I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone. And it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. I've heard that word. It's a human term, right? For a child with no father? Well, my son has a father, for all the good it's done him. He was castless, and I think... No, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. In Orzammar, lineage is traced through the child's same-sex parent. Had my baby been a girl, she would have been a minor like me. But as a boy, my son is considered tainted forever by his father's seed. Yes. I can become castless with him, which is what I've done. Others have raised children like this, right? Begging for change, sleeping in doorways? I, I thought about that. They say there's no caste up there. That humans don't care about lineage. I've never met a surfacer, though. I, I thought it might not be safe. And you've been kinder than any of my countrymen. Perhaps it's a sign. If it gives my son a chance to live, I will go. Thank you, stranger, for opening my eyes. Perhaps I'll see you next in the light of the sun. Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. More foes approach! I Sometimes... Wait for them! and you shall pay! Don't kill me! Uh, sorry, ancestors! What do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all. The base is below the city. You, uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? Uh, really? Oh. Thank you. You're a, a good person. How do they say it? The ancestors have shown their favor. Bless you. The task is finished. I have done it.
What's the password? Looks like we have a martyr, boys. We will need to fight shortly! As you say, shortly.
ingredients. You will need to fight shortly! Some kind of trap. It will be done.
to fight shortly. So, Paramount finally realized we're taking the city, yet he still can't be bothered to send his own men. Well, you picked the wrong side, stranger. It doesn't matter who's king, as long as there's a queen! Hardly convincing when your blades are covered in my men's blood. Kill them! But leave the pretty one alive. I have plans for her. All foes approach!
I have done it. I am done. The task is finished. the beards of my ancestors. How did you... Where did you come from? You made a hole in my wall. No! I don't have anything to do with them. They're criminals. When they built this part of the city, they must have built over some tunnels. I swear, I had no idea. Oh, just leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with this. And if anyone comes asking, I'm gonna tell him you did it! You again. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface stick, and she's like a cave tick. Won't let go. Do you even know what that means? If Dagna goes to the surface, she forfeits her caste. She'll never be able to marry or, or work in Orzammar again. Dwarves don't do magic. Dagna knows that. It's just the childhood fantasy that dies hard. Please, if you see her, send her back and let me talk some sense into her. You again. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? Of course. You're back? But it takes two weeks and four days minimum to make the journey to the Circle Tower. I'm guessing you haven't left yet. Well, I've waited 19 years. Another month won't kill me. You're back? I'm guessing you haven't left yet. You talked to him? Of course he won't let me go. He wants to sell me off for the highest dowry. I don't care if I lose my cast. I'll stay on the surface forever. Here in Orzammar, we're surrounded by stone and tradition and more stone. Nothing ever changes. But to break every natural law by thinking about it, to dream and walk in a realm where everything you think comes true, I can't imagine anything more wonderful.
I heard the news. Jarvia and her Carter are dead. I suppose it was unrealistic to expect them to surrender. Would that some of the noble guests had such loyalty. I have no desire to go back on my word. But when Balin heard the news about Jarvia, he raised the stakes. He is forcing a vote in the next two days. By law, that prevents the Assembly from hearing any other pleas. To help with your troops, I will require your assistance one last time. Do you know anything of the Paragon Bronca? Yes, a smokeless fuel that made underground forges safer than they've ever been. Two years ago, she took her entire house into the deep robes on a mad quest to uncover ancient secrets. No one's heard from her since. Were she to return and endorse someone for the throne, the assembly would be honor bound to accept her wishes. My men traced Branca's disappearance to an ancient crossroads known as Caradin's Cross. It is many miles below where we normally venture, but I can provide a map to lead you there. Just enter the deep roads through the mines. Thank you again, and may the ancestors guide your steps. Greetings, and welcome to Garen Garenson's Luxury Goods Shop. Wow, there are a lot of you. And I've never seen one of those before. The things they come up with. What was I saying? Right. I have some lovely things here. Lilyrium. Enhanced, of course. What have you there? A mirror? It is... just the same as the mirror which Flemeth smashed on the ground so long ago. It is incredible that you found one so like it. 
I am uncertain what to say. You must wish something in return, certainly. You say that as if I should be accustomed to such a thing. I have never received a gift, not one which did not come at a price. I suppose I should say thank you for the gift. Tis most thoughtful, truly. Much. <laughs> At least they're not pigeons here. Stranger, have you seen a Grey Warden hereabouts? I've been privy to the rumor that he, or was that she? Hey, you understand this was many mugs ago. It was searching for Bronca on Lord Harriman's own command. Here. Wardens and their staff are the only non dwarfs who've been allowed in the city lately. Does that mean that you, or one of them, are a warden? Huh. I have to say, from all the tales, I was expecting something a little more impressive. Eh, but I guess standards aren't what they used to be. Hey, can I ask you a favor? Ah, oh, stuff your head. I have a bleeding paragon to find. I don't have time to worry about your sodding feelings. I'm not saying I should be your first pick for a dance partner at whatever Highness's inaugural ball. But in the deep roads, I'm your man. And if you're looking for Bronca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for. Which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void, the secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Caradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the Anvil. As far as anyone knows, the Anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Keridan's cross. No one's seen that tag for five hundred years. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Blood and damnation! That looks fine indeed. <laughs> tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. Open your eyes, man! This Grey Warden is on a quest to find your paragon! Do I have to take your sticking head off? That won't be necessary. Ogryn could have been Adesha for House Branca. I suppose he's the next best thing in both skill and arrogance. You may pass. 
I'd offer more assistance, but my command post is here. All of Ozamar relies on us to hold this line. Best of luck with your quest, Warden. Ozamar needs a paragon now more than ever.
legends cross. I can't believe Harrowmont actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Tig. Not a one, but trust me, we will once we're on the path to the old Orton Tig. She was going to Keridan's home. <laughs> Only Bronca's a hero, the most famed paragon ever to rise from Smith Cast. He built the anvil, and he's the only one who ever knew its secret. He was an Orton before he founded his own house, and even then, he spent most of his time in their tag. Bronca figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located. No one but Keridan ever really knew more than it had some kind of stone-blessed power. Every golem who ever ranged across the Empire was hammered on the steel of that anvil. But no one ever knew exactly how they were made. But Bronco was sure she could find out. Aye. Bronco dug up some maps of the ancient Empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now. But near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Taig. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. <laughs>